Okay, in this example, we're talking about calculating the odds against an event. So in this example, the main idea is just getting used to terminology that you may see. Okay, so the actual odds against event A occurring are the ratio P of A complement over P of A. And again, I want to remind you that A with the bar over it is the notation for A complement. And this is usually expressed in the form A to B, where A and B are integers having no common factors. And now, this particular video is in contrast to the example which talks about the odds in favor of event A occurring. Here we're talking about the odds against event A occurring. And again, it's going to be a very straightforward example that just gets you used to the terminology and the way that we express things. Okay, so here's our example. A jar is three marbles, sorry, three red marbles and five blue marbles. If one marble is randomly selected, find, okay. And then here's what we got to find. The probability of selecting a red, the odds in favor of selecting red, and the odds against selecting red. And again, this part C is the main idea of this video. The reason for the A and B is just to compare and contrast the way things may be asked and getting used to the terminology and stressing how you have to express things. You have to read the question and give the answer in the way that they want it expressed. Okay, so part A. The probability of selecting a red one. That's going to be P equals... Okay, now there's three red ones and there's eight total marbles. So the probability of selecting a red is going to be three over eight. And again, I got the eight from three red plus five blue gives us eight total marbles. So when we're talking about probability, the probability of selecting a red is three over eight. Okay, let's go to B. The odds in favor of selecting an A. Now we do have a video corresponding to how to find the odds in favor, and this is just here to compare and contrast odds in favor versus odds against. Okay, so the odds in favor of selecting a red are going to be, it's going to be the ratio of three to five. Because, again, the first integer, roughly speaking, when you're talking about odds in favor, is the number of ways event A can occur. Two, the number of ways event A complement can occur. So there's three ways to get a red one, and there's five ways to get something that's not a red, because there's five blue. Okay, part C, the main idea of this video. Find the odds against selecting a red. Okay, now when we're talking about odds against, the first integer that comes is not going to be the number of ways we can select a red. It's going to be the number of ways we can select something that's not a red. So when we're talking about odds against selecting a red, the first integer is going to be the number of ways we can select something that's not a red, and the second integer will be the number of ways of selecting a red. So the odds against selecting a red are going to be 5 to 3. And sometimes students ask, wait a minute, the odds against is the same thing as odds in favor, except the numbers are switched around. Yep, absolutely. That's, it's that straightforward. If the odds in favor of selecting a red are 3 to 5, the odds against selecting a red are going to be 5 to 3. It is that straightforward. So again, sometimes when you're given questions, it's up to you to try to figure out how they want the answer expressed. That's what's being tested on you. How can you express the answer in the proper way? Do you understand the terminology being used? And in this example, we're talking about the terminology of calculating odds against an event occurring. 